Rocha stuff, okay? They'll be a very physical, very direct side. Yeah, we, we know what they're all about. We came down here. We came down here a few months back. Uh, beat them 2 0 in the cup. 2 0? 2 1 in the cup. All right. Um, we both had completely different sides that day. If we win today, we go nine points behind them and we still got to play them, okay? They're sitting in third place. So I'll be honest today, boys, it's a must win game. It's a definitely a must not lose. You are a better footballing side than them. That is a fact, okay? However, have we got the arsehole and the experience and the know how to beat them? Because they are a good side. They cut just coming off of a, a win against Staplers and coming off a draw at Whiteleaf. All right, so they are a good side. Yeah, so today it's about testing yourselves and showing what we're all about. The difference between with a good player and a great player is give the ball when someone's tight to them because they can manipulate where they want to go. You're, if you play the lower down levels, you don't want to give it to them because they'll give it away. But good players will tell you when they have a defender tight to them, give them the ball because they can manipulate where they're going to move and go out the other side. As always, when you're playing, if you want to get after them and press them and force them into mistakes, and do it. You are the guys playing, we're not playing PlayStation, okay? So get after them. So if the ball goes in here, sorry, if the ball goes in here, just so we're clear, ball side, centre forward, you lock it, uh, Fred, if it's you, and you have to make him play channel. So we stop the diag, we force him into the channel. Does that make sense? Yeah? yeah? Big game, let's put things right. Yeah? Let's lock him go. Come on, boys. What's going on with you? Any warm up. By yourself? Who? So how are you going to warm up by yourself? I'll figure it out. <laughs> well, run around the pitch. He dragged you into his warm up. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? Good luck, man. <laughs> Gee, if you're watching, man, he's got something to show you. Skipper. Oh, I'm banned. What's the score pitching going to be today? 3-2 uh, Croydon. What about you? 4-2 Croydon. When we watched it before, I think Croydon turned them over. And I think, yeah, it's going to be the same again. Croydon win. What about you? 3-1. 3-1, yeah? So Big G's going to concede? Only one. Only one. But He's not going to be happy. <laughs> it's not good enough. No, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon 3-1 Rochester. Easy 14-0. Come on, What about you? 3-1. What do you think of Big G as a goalkeeper? Brilliant goalkeeper. I reckon he's going to save a lot of shots. But I reckon Rochester will put a couple past him. I think it's chipped halfway long. Obviously, do you know what today is, right? It's a make or break in the season, in all honesty. Um, in the last, I think, five, six games, we've dropped eight points, two losses and a draw. And that has been at a crucial point in the season that it has allowed other teams who have maintained their form to get above us. And the teams that are above us have kept on winning. You know he was moaning about the balls uh, earlier. Targets, targets. Wrap it. <laughs> Obama who? <laughs> Don't worry man, I know your CV man. I know what you do man. Don't even need to fool me with that. I know, I already know. Great fuck this, guys. Push this. Yes, G! <laughs> Another three points. Trust me, man. Are you not starting? Nah. Don't tell me. I think I'm easing my way back in. Oh, it's because of that mix. Come on, boys! Hey, lads, here we go, boys! Guys, what have you got to say, man? Big game, mate. Requires big players today. Um, coming off the back of Wednesday, great, great result. Obviously, ultimately means nothing in the Div 1 Cup. Pretty much rewarded the boys, other than two false changes, same side. Um, so, hopefully, we play with the same energy. Get the ball down and play, and hopefully, you know, decide uh, not second or third in the table for no reason. Um, so hopefully, we can we can go and do it, go and show our quality, and, and get the job done, mate. No score prediction though. Last time it went against me. Three points. Yeah, that's it. We have to Three win points. this game, boys. Otherwise, I'm fucking climbing hills in this fucking playoff. Got to win this game. Got to be intelligent today. Oh, playing yeah. good, playing good areas, boys. For me, you, you see, these are the sort of games that we want. When we wake up, we want to we want to know that we're in a fucking game in a competition. We don't want to be out of the league waking up for nothing, for no reason. Every team I've been at, there's a purpose to being at a team. Yeah. We need to make sure that we do it today. Listen, the things that get us through the game is togetherness. We've got to be f***ing together today. Yeah. They're going to be physical. They're going to try and bring us down to their level. We don't. We, our energy has to be big. Yes. Our energy will win us the game today. Yeah. G. Boys, 
been well done, man. We finally get to go to war. Mm. And that's what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for a team that's going to fucking put us to the test. These are the oppositions that is going to actually say to us whether we're ready to be in a playoffs or not. We've been tested before, but now we've got to pass another test. And that's what f***ing happens when you're addicted to shit. The cure only lasts a day. You've got to want it again and again. So we're addicted to winning. We have to show them how f***ing much we want it. Hands in. Three, two, one. Quiet. Let's go, boy. Swap hands. Swap hands, yeah. Okay, Okay, so he's gonna get two. Took her for a drink on Tuesday. We were making, we were playing to him back on Wednesday and on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. We chilled on Sunday. You know, dance is a Sunday. This is your non league meal deal. Neither side can afford to slip up. This is Rochester, third in the league versus the trams on the road. A title versus playoff push. We're in the Rochester Casino and Big G's playing blackjack with a hand of 17. It's stick or bust. Like count for today's 500. Make sure you like. G -g -g unit! <laughs> it's the first few minutes in the game. You stick it on their back line. Number four, Payne boomerangs it into the trans penalty box. His warm welcome to the game isn't received with a good A, mate, but a boomerang boulder header. Welcome to Rochester. Fredich cushions the ball back to JB. IT manages to collect the ball and link up with Halley at the Shrubs. Halley performs Jingle Bell Rocks in a swamp. He hits the chopsticks for the batter. Ugly on the air, but you know what they say, it's a mother's love. Every mum will tell you their kid's the most beautiful thing in the world. In this case, a scrappy goal has this up for the Puskas Award. 1-0 to the Trams. Ding dong. Ding ding. High Flyers Rochester will definitely continue to crank up the pressure. It's such an early goal to concede. But Benham's goal the other night was so clutch. But these copycat celebrations need to stop before they face a lawsuit. Come on, man. What is this? Surely the referee hasn't fallen for that one. Are we in Rochester or land of the Giants? Each lob pass becoming an aerial dispute of six footers plus. Ayatin utilising his body frame for a terrific target man bit of play. And Halley in one finds overlap for Morgan. Rochester eliminate the threat. RP7, the trusted steed. 11 minutes, 11 seconds. It's dreamland. No, it isn't. It's cleared out. And he gave him a second bite of the cherry. Surely you don't. He swings it in again at the back stick. It's Ayatin. Wowza. What an effort from a weird angle. I would usually say it's a laces effort, but he's used the inside it's hit the woodwork. The last fixture between the two sides, the trams came out as 2-1 victors. And I'm sure number 10 loins, you might have recognised him in a Holland and Blair fixture last season. A chance to go at G. Important save. Not the prettiest again. But in this game, which has got high stakes, keeping the ball at the net is going to be everything. Acrobatics from nine Rogers keeps the ball in touch. Fredish knocks it on, and that's a candy crush divine touch from Halley. Abassa showing a good bit of patience. JB swings it in. Get Nacho Hall! Look, get Nacho Hall! What is he doing? <laughs> A meaty challenge on the Glaswegian Nedved from number 8 Hume. Not the one in JLS, the one for Rochester. He plays through Rogers, through on goal. Brilliant movement, baggy touch, G relieved. Fast and Furious 10 star Shin Diesel gets the circular object all the way up the pitch. The center arse and deep line mids are robust. JB follows it up and he combines with a record breaker. Halley plays it down the line to JB. Rochester dwindled to clear their lines. JB's through a goal. Morgan with a chance. But he fails to hit the barn door. By now you should know what the blockbuster is and why you've got your popcorn out. It's, it's Shin Diesel. 
He's gone and found Sammy Morgan who's helped it into a basso. It's a franchise, so we'll give you two for the price of one. Another Zinger Burger. The home side have employed a high back line and starting position. If they're not careful, they'll find themselves in a bridge calf and boardroom with Lord Sugar. Any sort of ball played into centre forwards today, you're going to be under constant pressure. Abbasa finds himself under that press. The number seven plays it into the four. The four finds the nine with enchanting vision. The nine through on goal. With 16 goals this season, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Referee! Anything there, please! 34 minutes in, it's a rare sighting of RP7 on the ball. It's been that kind of game. Defend first, attack later. Obasa instinctively fires it across a Bamiyang. A bubble blood club waits for Ayatine with a Bacardi Breezer moment. Hits the base of the post. Score remains 1 0, and it really shouldn't be. Triggers and pictures is what Capes had explained to us in the weeks before, you know, he had gone and watched them in the week. They set it, then they spin it. If you can deal with that, you can deal with their main threat. And this is the kind of picture that we've been seeing this game so far. With the nickname the Spartans, you only know if you love your 300 that Leonidas led his men a certain way and the seven's gone for it. Shield wall has been broken, Halley's down on the deck. And now all of them have started to approach. Nedved's been floored. Referee, get control of the game. We've got two bodies down in the deck. All of a sudden, the Uber Mortals in amongst it. The wild giraffe. Jordan, did he see it or not? And the push. That's what I'm asking. The first perpetrator is punished, Liam Wilkins, and not the pusher. He raised his hand. Referees! Referees! Rochester have found their mojo, and all it took was a push and pull about. Payne switches it over. Number 10 looks down the line and plays in the two. It's whipped in, and the seven who could have been sent off. Has just missed the target. He shouldn't be on the pitch. And it's even worse when you know what he's earning. Route 1 football from the lovable Renford rejects. A Bassar struggles to notch a second. That is daddy shit who. <laughs> Brixton gang signs between former classmates Chris and the ref absolutely infuriates Jalzy. I, I, I innocently thought he was um, letting the ref know how long there was left. Concentration levels is going to separate whether we go in at half time with a clean sheet or whether we go in with a draw. The Glaswegian never clears up his desk. A simple question for you managers watching. What do you want from your goalkeeper in the last minute of the game? Commanding, coolness, maturity. Wines, who's been getting a lot of... Bo oh, Wines, what? F oh, allow me. Anyway, the seven plays it and Nedford gives away a foul. There's 30 seconds left. The pressure's on. Big game, big players. Rogers versus G. G comes out on top. Oh, goodness me. Delivered again, G comes out and claims it. Surely this will see us through to half time. It's that time in the game where the referee's about to blow for their tea break and we're gonna go in at 1 0. What you call a Super Saiyan Goku without blonde hair? Half a job. Kame. Kame. Ah! I don't give a shit. If you can see that the pressure's mounting, what do you do? You get bodies behind the ball and you make sure they play side to side and in front of us. If they choose to go direct, we deal with it. 
But well, one thing we have to be able to do is manage a storm. Because the moments of quality have actually gone from not asking Hawley to be deep, but him finding in them pockets. But the same way, when we defend, you have to recognise that you do. It might be you've just done attack, a slow yeah. job back in. Yeah. Because if it doesn't, he has to, Ryan doesn't have to go into no man's land. Some of us got to the DM. The exactly. Yeah, so that balance between you two goes into a centre forward and their man is actually running inside the pitch. Mm -hmm. So you're better off being closer to the middle. And in worst case, if they play it out to the football, you have to go again. But we've noticed some of their threats, haven't we? They've got the big guy they go direct with the diags into. But that's what that's why I feel like, even though that they've had a lot of control in the middle, they've not really done anything with it. Yeah. So I'm thinking if but I do good. press in, that guy is just with Ryan, one v one, and he he, he will win every. Every day of the week, as a goalkeeper, I would have shots on the angle. Shots in central positions, they can pick wherever they go, and they've been shit in front of home. Yeah. Like they've had, they've been in 18 yard box and they're skying it left and right. You don't want to keep giving them get opportunities like that centre of the pitch. I know we're playing, obviously, um, was it uphill. Yeah, yeah. We're sitting too deep, that's why they're picking up the seconds. Yeah. So yeah. I think if you, if you push yeah. a little bit and get higher, yeah. you can join the ball more and then use you, you, you and Sammy. Because yeah. the outlets out is. Yeah, man. Is there, man. Obviously, Casey's going to go into the shape and stuff, and also there's a massive overload in the centre of the pitch. When we jump, they're out, bam, they're turning three players in the middle of the park. Okay? Rochester are going to come and throw the fucking kitchen sink at you. All right, we have to make sure we come out of this game with something. Right now, we're going home with three points, okay? We don't concede, we're going home with three points. The referee is giving them absolutely fucking everything, okay? Do you know why? Ah! Oh, just be mindful, we are fucking Croydon Football Club, yeah? We're based in fucking South Norwood, SC25. When we come down to fucking Rochester and we play in the fucking Kent League, we don't get fuck all. I've known that for the last five years at this football club. Harry Hudson told me that before me. Dixon Gill told him before that. Yeah? It's just the nature of the beast. We've always got to be that much better to beat the f***ing judges. With the time management, you need to be a bit more cuter now. Yeah. Okay? Just because they're going to make a point of it. And you've been killers today in the box. You've been killers, yeah? It's a, it's a, it's a great job so far, but it's only half a job. Let's make sure we go out there with the same energy, be annoying, be infectious, don't fall for any of their shit. We get the job done, we f*** off home, is that clear? Yeah. G, -g, 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 -g Unit! This week's G Unit member is going to be Paul Rook, my father-in-law. I took him to Man United versus Liverpool at Old Trafford to a 4-3 win from the Red Devils. My question for you is, what's been the best atmosphere you've witnessed at a game? Comment below. G, -g, -g you nit! We start the second half the same way we ended the first. It's gonna be a contact game. How many? How many? No, this is getting ridiculous now and I'm not a meme. Two moments later. Someone's got to get a grip of this game. I can go down, but I don't want to. So I shouldn't need to dive, should I? Please give me one. You gave me them four, I'm going to do one on purpose. All the best sides punish you by the intensity they keep you under. They move you left to right, back and forward. Sooner or later, gaps appear. They've created the picture they wanted. Regis back stick. Palmer does well, but Granite Grani does even better. It's that trademark, late number eight run from Lamps, he has a dig. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot tall, we want Jordan to head the ball. Spartans Mercer launches it in and the Trams have to stay together and stay united in defending against this brutal attack. It's non-stop, but what do you call a nut in Brazil? Brazilian nuts? So then what do you call cashew nuts in Rochester? Numb nuts. Time waits for no man. A chance for the Spartans to break away. 
and JB makes sure he doesn't go no further. It's not really malicious, but, and it's not even overzealous, but the referee's actually going to end up booking him. You haven't touched your watch yet. I'm not going to use the word I want to say, but let me put it this way. You've been playing Monopoly for about an hour, a state covered in Marleybone Bond Street, yet you ain't got a pot to piss in. Something gets smelling right about this game, I'm saying. And I don't need a wrestling Samoan to tell me that. Go back to the old sayings, play to the whistle, Hume has a chance, and the wall holds strong. We're going to have to defend again, Hume with a loaded box puts it into the mixer, and it's Rogers who rises best, he's got the Spartans back in, he's their tallies man, he's the man they aim for. If I'm being harsh, if you can't get there, stay on your line, but it always takes two to tango, that's somebody's man at the set piece, on and off the pitch. The conditions have been treacherous, it's been rainy, it's been windy, a typical non-league day, so the ball's become a bar of soap in a Rochester box. Chinford with an opportunity, deflected over the bar. A defence splitting past, the credit trams have got to be concerned, there's a 2 on 1 on the back post. Surely not, surely please, it's a Nax cock wide of the post. Every time I mention the name Rochester, I keep mentioning the four Rogers. he's in amongst everything. But I'm going to need the referee to be a lot more bold here. Look at that, I saw bloody Beckham persecuting and showing pomegranate for the same on Simeone. The officials haven't been bold enough, so Rogers sees Ambler Gamba for his sins. Rochester always walked the zip line between intimidation and confrontation and his teammates are clapping it. Jowsey brings out his shiny Charizard card of Jaquan, the streets will never forget him. Hold on referee, what? Hold on. Referee, referee ain't stopped the game. This ain't a pro game, this is non-league, what are we watching here? Are we alright? Come on! Live and off! I don't know what the purpose of you watching this is. Is it education? Is it entertainment? Well, Fred Abbas is just giving it your individual brilliance. As he wriggled through two defenders, only to have his effort diverted for a dud corner. So we have to keep going. We're about to break into the 86th minute. An optimistic swung in ball from the three. And Big G's called into action. We're in that minute now. Tactic, part the bus, part the tram, shut the doors. Rochester refusing to let us out our box then it's another opportunity and a massive save my goodness the break is on how has he kept that one out rp7 breaks down the center part looks to his left we've got jaquan springer on the overlap jaquan springer and it's springer just wide of the post let's get a replay we talk about big game, big players, big movies, big budgets. A deflection from that cross that we're watching Lord of the Rings. Sarah Rochester, Sarah Mann, you shall not pass here. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. How has he kept that one out? Rochester looked to their bench. Every player still left on the pitch is relying on sheer willpower. It's been a hard fought game. We're in a soul searching seconds. Who wants it more? Is it going to be the satisfaction of a point well shared or elation of three pints and three points? Chinny looks inside with no options going forward. He plays it into Anderson. Anderson, the skipper, goes a bit more direct. No chances can be taken. The four heads it back into the path of Owen. Owen lays it off to Springer. Springer's shot is deflected. RP7! And the dead! 89 minute, he's gone and buried it, the distance he's covered, that level of desire, come off the man, come off the hour, Jason Palms, AK3 Lung Park, my 90s babies, shake your Pepsi foot long pencil cases, borrow a movie from blockbusters and don't return it, this game has swung in YouTube fashion, forget about Sunny D, this is Croydon Delight in a Skeffel Prem, 23-24 season.
fucking rhino! What do you want from me? Listen, I'm in goal. Put on your best armor or take it all off. This war ain't over yet. If you think they're gonna give us these three points, you're absolutely balmy. The th number four, master of disaster. He's done it again, another huge challenge. But when you're good enough, you're old enough. JB, born in the 2000s, Palacios, Nicky Shorey. The kids of nowadays will never know or respect who they are. If you wanna push and pull about, we can all push and pull about. Chitty's pushing and pulling about. Oi! See, that's, no, that's not pushing, that's neck grabbing. Get him off the pitch! Darth Sidious is here. Maybe that explains the referee mind tricks. My padda one. From all that fracas, he ends up becoming two pinch players for the trams getting booked, and a player who grabbed the throat walks. You can't keep a good man down, and you won't beat a wild giraffe in the air. With the nickname of Spartans, you know they're gonna go to the very end, but we're nicknamed the Trams. It's the end of the line when we say it is. Chin Fernandez off the line, G saved it onto the crossbar. We got up, it's pandemonium in the area. Blocked and it goes out for a corner. What is going on here? Look at the seas, look at the bodies. It's a bloodbath, and that's the kind of war you wanna see. Bodies on the line, but we're doing it for each other. Come on, the Trams. A highly contested game. Players Guko's levels are well and truly past the reserve tank warning. We're almost there. Last one. Rochester's last opportunity to throw the Howden sink at us. And it's ended up being a poor corner. And look at the jubilation. In a must-win game, the Trams have gone and done it. One two one away at Rochester. The group resilience has been shown in abundance. A worthy battle and credit to our opposition for the intensity and commitment. This three points doesn't secure playoff, but it keeps the flame burning. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the like count is 500. Comment below a game you've played in like this. I don't know, what even the scoreline, why not? This has been your unit. You're part of the unit. What unit? The G unit. G, -G, -G unit. Yeah, you gotta say, man. What a big three points! Imagine you had in the oh, building that goal. What a save! Hey. You're mad. Big save! Oh, yeah. Big three points! Oh, point. 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 I do not know how he saved it. No. Big G. It's big G, man. It's big 14 men. 14 men. Come on! 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 Come I see you, gun the flag. Big fucking G, fucking legend, fucking man. What a legend! Get some points! Yeah, the tribes, up the tribes! When we're in Rochester, that's home, and you were Rochester Dons. Yeah. So what did you think about the game? It, it was um, lovely. It was amazing. 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 G, a great keeper, but still, how has he saved that save? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, where's the pin, Richard? Huh? <laughs> he said that Palms was going to score today. Like he told, no, 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 he phoned. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's he done it over the phone. Hey, this the is phone. the I say. I tell you what, that was an absolute shift from every one of you, okay? When that goal went in against us, all right, we was on the rocks a little bit, on the ropes, yeah? We dug in, okay? Subs that come on, and, and absolutely fing amazing. Done well, yeah? But. It's only one.
celebrating there. Get back to it on Wednesday. Never, as Cape says, never too high, never too low. The Cape quote from Penguin. But listen, <laughs> <laughs> this football club has not won a trophy since 2008, 2009. It's our time to shine, and we're gonna put ourselves in the history books. We're three points closer to the playoffs. We get it. Come on!